Just an update, I'm harvesting some Japanese knotweed. I've also got some hogweed around. Uh, it's an area uh, near an industrial estate, uh, but I don't think uh, the dried reeds will, if they are polluted, they'll, they'll cause any problem to the bees. Uh, and I'm pretty sure there's no problem here, pollution. Um, anyway, I'm just cutting my reeds down. And what I learned this, uh, this year is that, um, for example, if you take a reed here, um, it was always a problem to find reeds that are very long. See, this one here is nice and long. It's about uh, six, seven millimeters in, in uh, internal diameter. But uh, very often what you do, you find ones that are very, very short and you can't, you can't provide the bees with the necessary uh, 15 centimeter um, length. So what I've just learned this year is, well, what I've decided to do is just knock out the middle chamber so we get the full we double the distance of the um, of the reed uh, depths so very simple I got a, a piece of wire and I push out the middle the middle node and then I have um, a reed that's a little bit longer so that's what I'm up to I need some smaller reeds because I've got plenty of large reeds at the moment and so that's what I'm doing today uh, for my bees okay